Hi, my name is Lauren. I do architectural design at Series Greenhouse Solutions in Boulder, Colorado. This greenhouse sits in a farm called Golden Hoof Farms. And so the idea behind this farm is that it's a soulful, slow food farm that really brings people back to nature and their connection with food. Um, so this greenhouse is a tropical greenhouse and it's designed to mimic the tropical rainforest. So how they do this is by using a combination of passive design principles and mechanical climate control systems to diversify our local food economies here in Boulder and provide food to our community. So we're excited to have you here with us today and come join us. Hello, welcome, my name is Ariana. I am a member of the residential design team here at Ceres. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about passive solar design. So when it comes to orientation, which is a question we get asked a lot, 90% of your sun exposure is going to come from the south side. So to maximize that sun exposure, we typically have some sort of glazing or light transmitting material along the south wall. And then we place insulation along the north wall. And the insulation acts as something to absorb that heat that is brought in from the south side. And then when it gets cold at night, it can release some of that heat back into the greenhouse. And it's this the cycle of sun harvesting. Another aspect to orientation is prevailing winds. So being here in Boulder, Colorado, a mountain town, we do get that wind that rolls off the mountains from the west. And to maximize that, we want to place intake louvers along the west side of the greenhouse and then exhaust fans along the east so that we can push that hot air out of the greenhouse. The same way that we want to harvest sun from the south to the north, we want to harvest the wind from the west to the east. So we're using all these passive principles. So when we think about growing tropicals in Boulder, Colorado, one really important element of this design was thinking about how we could do that sustainably. So because we get so much sunlight in Boulder, there are two types of solar implemented in this greenhouse. The first is a set of solar panels that are essentially used to power all the mechanical systems within the greenhouse. And the second set of solar PV is a solar PV drain back system. So what it essentially does is circulates water into the soil. That water is heated and keeps the soil temperature between 60 and 75 degrees, which is amazing when you're growing tropical plants. It also helps to release some of that humidity into the greenhouse so we can keep this humid tropical temperature here. A lot of times we get asked, can I grow in directly into the soil and still incorporate our GAT system, which is our ground to air heat transfer system? And the answer is yes. So the best way to properly incorporate in-ground growing in our GAT system is to be mindful of what you are planning to grow in the root zones of those plants, but also working with our design team to help come up with the strategy so that we can maximize plant growth while also maximizing the efficiency of the GAT system. So as we mentioned before, one of the key principles to passive solar design is harvesting as much sunlight as possible. And one way we do that is through materiality. So in this greenhouse, this greenhouse is designed with ETFE. This is one of our first prototypes, which we're testing the material with. And one of the major benefits of ETFE is that it allows for more light transmittance. So it allows UVA and UVB light into the greenhouse, which promotes healthy plant growth and also prevents from disease. So we hope to use this in our greenhouses in the future, but we're excited to start here at Golden Hoof.